Okay, I just want to forewarn you guys that a lot of the videos coming up with, you know, over the course of the next week or so are probably going to be very heavily themed in the direction of the Johnny Depp trial. I wanted to watch all of Ozzyman's reviews of this, and there are some other videos pertaining to this that I wanted to check out. I'll probably... I'll try to record some stuff here and there, but I'm really busy with work. And this is time sensitive, so I wanted to definitely get these under my belt before the trial is over. We've got a week until the trial, the closing arguments happen and the trial is ended and handed over to the jury. So we'll see what happens. But this is part three. I don't know how many parts he's going to have in total, but I do know he's had... I knew already about four, but he's got more. I knew I know he has at least one more. So let's go ahead and dive right into this. It's just under 11 minutes long. So here we go. All right, all right, I'm back. Where was I with day 11? Oh, yeah, Johnny's new business manager, Ed White. He's like, Johnny's paid his taxes and I've made a good financial plan for him. I've made a plan, everyone. Next up was the Scottish <laughs> Oh, this guy guard. was so funny. All you legends telling me to watch this legend were quiet, right? He seems like a legend. He confirms one night he took a photo where he saw a bruise under Johnny's eye. Amber's lawyers asked him if he saw Johnny pissing during an argument with Amber once. He's like... I've never seen my boss's dick. Yeah. No. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Depp had his penis out of his pants. Objection. Pen, didn't he? Yeah, remember. I think I would remember. Relevance. Mr. Depp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Amber told me that poo on Johnny's side of the bed was a practical joke. He ju also said uh, when when uh, he was asked about the, the bruise on Johnny's face in that picture, he said something like, it looked like uh, he walked into a door or a door walked into him. <laughs> It's just the way he worded it was funny. And this guy basically uh, confirmed the thing about the poop in the bed. Me? I think I would remember. Relevance. Mr. <laughs> uh, I'll know. Yeah, Amber told me that poo on Johnny's side of the bed was a practical joke gone wrong, says Starling Jenkins. So you reckon she had something to do with the poo? Oh, yeah, someone talks to you about a poo, you assume <laughs> they know about the poo, says Starling Jenkins. We are done. Have a good weekend. I am fucking off. <laughs> Day 12, Jimi Hendrix is cranking in the car. Johnny! Johnny! Is yelled from the sidelines. Cut to, hey, Amber. No, boo, Why did Amber. you or a freeloading friend poo on the bed? Another security guard says he saw a can of Red Bull hit Johnny and Amber punch him. He was out getting a late night kebab for most of the argument, but that's what he saw when he got back. Ah, now the testimony from Johnny's most up-to-date talent agent was interesting. I reckon a record was broken for most objections ever. Mum's friend was constantly half-standing. Basically yeah, because I remember this testimony be relates ready. to damages, money, work lost after the 2018 op-ed Amber wrote, but didn't write, but is credited as the author of <laughs> fucking lunch break. It is truly an violent intense symbol. graphic violent logo. <laughs> this guy was cool. He's like, he is really hung up on that logo, isn't he? <laughs> That's funny. He's focused on it in every single video. <laughs> an intense graphic violent logo. This guy was cool. He's like, I'm a deal maker. Oh, I yeah, get this guy was yes. name dropping Remember like Star crazy. Wars merchandise deal George Lucas got in the 70s? Yeah. I was part of that. He's just a Hollywood expert overall, and he does reckon the op ed meant no more deals yeah. for Johnny John. You wouldn't want to hire an actor who uh, has negativity uh, following them, you wouldn't want to pay to actually bring your brand down he then that specific type of negativity too in fact someone on amber's side yesterday basically confirmed that you know like uh, you know working with an actor that has substance abuse issues or plays around messes around whatever that's one thing it's kind of built into hollywood where a lot of hollywood folks but an actor who is accused of sexual assault or violence in that manner, that's like nobody wants to touch them. And Amber's attorney confirmed that, which is basically the point Johnny's making. Now, Amber's trying to say that she suffered all these damages. She really hasn't. I just don't think she's made her case at all, you guys. And yesterday was supposed to be her day, but it was like every pretty much every witness up there almost ended up sounding like they were supporting 
Johnny Depp's case, not necessarily that they were overtly in support of him, but what they had to share their testimony was like, what, what was the point? This didn't help Amber's side at all. Not that I want anything to help her side, but I just wonder at the wisdom of her attorneys and putting some of these people up there because they just did not further the case. Has to deal with Amber's lawyers and their ridiculous amounts of paper. Why do they have so much paper? This guy is like. A... <laughs> I know. They are not prepared. Oh yeah. Now I keep imagining them going back to their office and throwing all the paper around at the end of the day, <laughs> like in Terry Gilliam's movie Brazil. <laughs> oh, this that's so is... funny! How timely! How timely! That is so weird. This sort of stuff happens all the time. Jeff. My boss and I, Jeff is my boss. We were having a meeting today, a scheduling meeting. And we were, we also just like talk fun stuff too during these meetings. I have the best job ever, you guys. And we were talking about Terry Gilliam or Gilliam, however you say his name, those movies. And he, we were, he was specifically bringing up Brazil to me. Now this movie may have come up in, in our live stream discussion. I honestly don't remember, but it wouldn't surprise me. And it's just, it's so funny. It was just like, a couple hours ago, we were talking about this movie, and then th that particular exact movie shows up in a clip here, like Twilight Zone stuff. As a fan of the internet and analytics, that's nice. As an online content creator, I appreciate it. Mm. I love a digitized dashboard with peaks and valleys. Johnny's face represents my face when looking at my YouTube and Facebook insights. Don't fully get what's <laughs> going on with them, but you get an idea of when it's good times yeah, versus shit up, times. Yeah. Another nurse. Yep, Amber did do drugs, alcohol. One time I saw her with a bloody lip. She reported to me it happened in an altercation with Johnny. Day 13. A lot of nose wiping going on today. Objection, speculation, hearsay, foundation. <laughs> a lot of fucking nose wiping is all, all right, I'm saying. Right, you need a tissue. Okay, they've snorted cocaine together before court this morning. This is actually what I'm saying. No, 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 no. Jokes. But at this time, such a plot line Johnny. in this TV show wouldn't surprise me. Sorry, tissue. I'll get back to it. Here's a forensic accountant. He says, yeah, Johnny's earning capacity has been fucking fucked since Amber became a blogger in 2018. Uh, plaintiff rests this case. In all right, plaintiff rests. All right. Since oh, Amber became a blogger. Case. What does that mean? We now get to hear from Amber's witnesses. Actually, first Rottenborn says, why don't we just all forget this ever happened? Throw oh, yeah. the lawsuit out. Throw it out like a mattress with shit on it. <laughs> Your Honor, Penny. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so people made a big deal about this. All these headlines and the clickbaity stuff on on the YouTube thumbnails and it was it's so annoying. I mean, it's frustrating acting like this is a big deal. Ah, the, the judge denies her request. Yeah, okay, yeah, the judge did deny it, but this is standard. This happens after the plaintiff has rested. The defense pretty much always makes a motion to dismiss. This is it would be unethical of them probably to not have done that. This is normal, and it's completely normal that it was denied. It has it was no reflection at all on the merits of the case. So seeing people, you know, I mean, as much as, much as I'm glad that it wasn't thrown out, but I knew it wouldn't be, but to see people go gaga over it like it was some big profound deal, it, it wasn't. It's just it's the way it goes in court cases. Yeah, nah, show us your witnesses, mate. Game on. Mum's friend suddenly becomes a polite lawyer. She's found someone she has chemistry with, a clinical psychologist from FB Market. Oh, and this woman. A budget oh. Dr. Curry. In fact, Mum's friend calls her Dr. Curry at one point. <clears throat> Dr. Curry, in answering Not just that at question, one point. were you consulting anything? She calls her. Dr. Hughes. She calls her. Dr. Hughes, I'm so sorry. She does that more than once. Uh, Dr. Hughes, were you consulting anything? Dr. Curry's here, I guess, as well. That's quite confusing. <laughs> um, Dr. Hughes is then like, oh, she I've did that at least two or three in. times. It's not a script. It's just like notes. Yeah, you're not supposed to. <laughs> no one else brought notes in, but I've just got some notes. Don't yeah. worry about yeah. it. A moment later, mum's friend calls her Dr. Curry again. Dr. Curry, um, if, if you, I mean, Dr. Dr. Hughes, Hughes, I don't know why I keep Oi. doing that. My apologies. My apologies. <laughs> Dr. Hughes. 
I think it's the confusion of having her in the courtroom. We go into a long, slow pan across the crowd. What are the cheeky wankers in charge to of the fine, live stream up Dr. to? Muffins. They just want to show us the type of demographic attending the hearings. I guess that's quite interesting. I have wondered some days who is in the audience. Is it a ticketed event? Is it invitation only? Oh, fuck! Of course, the cinematographer is giving the people what they want. <laughs> Crikey, this is like a 2022 Jerry Springer show. <laughs> she has her glasses on. She's Dr. ready. Curry, yeah, that's Dr. Curry. Even though she's not reading anything, she just has them on. Something I noticed. I've got a good attention to detail <laughs> is all. I noticed she's got her hair. Her glasses. Hey, okay, enough. Time for my review. <laughs> he really likes her with his glasses on. That's so funny. I am really looking forward to her being called up as a rebuttal witness. Now, at the end of this week's court stuff, Amber Heard's team only has like eight hours and something left. Johnny Depp's team has 18 hours left. So they've got so much time to work with this coming week. And I have no doubt that she is going to be called up as well as another witness who's, who will be called up to refute the testimony of Amber's sister. Her testimony, their, their accounts of the staircase incident, both of them wildly different. So it, it's going to be interesting to see. I, you know, I'm jumping ahead. Obviously, this was stuff that happened like a, a week or two weeks ago. I think this happened before the court went on break. Because this psychiatrist testified before Amber did. And this psychiatrist is basically almost acting like Amber heard herself in relaying the things Amber told her, relaying it to the to the jury I don't know why there weren't more objections put in place to that. It was it seemed very inappropriate the way she was testifying. But anyway, okay, here we go. So let's just start with the freshest thoughts in me mind. Dr. Dawn Hughes, the first witness called up by Team Rottenborn. Do we do we do we trust her? Do we get good vibes? Oh, no, God. this girl. This, this woman, she kept referring to abuse victims as she and her and the perpetrators as he, him. So basically trying to implant this idea in the jury's mind that victims are always women and perpetrators are always men. It was so obvious. It was disgusting. I mean, of course she's going to be talking in that manner but it just it was it, you could tell it was an intentional attempt to manipulate the jury's thought process guys look i'm not one to shit on someone's entire career and qualifications but my fucking spidey sense also that she needed she kept wanting to refer to her notes and stuff she's not she wasn't supposed to do that she had all these notes in front of her that she kept wanting to and she would refer to them when she wasn't supposed to johnny at one point caught her and he like motioned to to, to Ben, uh, the attorney sitting next to him, that she's reading her notes she's not supposed to be. Keep tingling. She conducted her sessions with Amber in September 2019, I think it was, if I recall correctly. Look, Dr. Curry's evaluation was also a while after the divorce and all the shit fights. It's just, it's just, Dr. Hughes felt a bit forced. Amber's legal team feels like they're forcing everything. Uh. She talks to the jury the whole time. That feels like a tactic rather than sincerity. She talks from the perspective of blokes being abusers the whole time. Fine, fine, fine. But that wording feels very intentional, yep. a.k.a. Yes. a tactic. It was. And what I do find really was jarring is how intense she was talking about Johnny raping Amber within the marriage. And no Amber pretending to be all sad. between Ugh. Amber and Johnny or texts between them allude to any sexual violence. Mm -hmm. And Rottenborn is looking to get a motion to dismiss the title of the op-ed that has sexual violence written in it as defamatory because no one knows who wrote that. And Judge Penny is actually in limbo considering that motion to dismiss for that paragraph, for that title, I think, is what she meant. So as to the motion to strike on, on statement one, I'm going to take an advisement because ruling on it now, it would be premature. Because I just don't have that evidence in the case, okay? Yeah, I just, I don't know. Look, what I do know is that I like this guy in the background. He's like, yay, woo, yay. <laughs> when Judge Penny said majority of the motion to dismiss is denied, he's like, oh, yay, <laughs> I get to come back next week or whatever. Uh, maybe so you I, don't. Look, to be saying 
Sexual violence has caught them out of left field and they've not known anything about that claim or that it's from a previous relationship before Johnny, but then bring a witness on immediately as your first one that discusses rape heavily, ripping off Amber's nightgown, doing a cavity search mm -hmm. to look for cocaine, penetrating her with a bottle. It's, 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 whoa, it's, it's jarring. Objection foundation. Shock factor starts to feel like a tactic too, you know? And the reading from the notes and paperwork is not a good look. You can say Dr. Curry is corrupted because she accepted dinner and drinks from Johnny's team. That's fine, say it. But she'd said cool common sense stuff about honouring fact finders and going where the science takes her. As a forensic psychologist, my obligation is to the court, is to the fact finder. I present science regardless of what that science may be. It doesn't feel like she's emotionally blackmailing us, but who knows? Maybe Dr. Curry is the villain behind those glasses. <laughs> Maybe she's the villain. Ultimately, I do kind of end up confused. You, you can have two professionals say complete opposite things whenever you want in a courtroom. Amber does have PTSD. Amber does not have PTSD. Every high-level industry right now looks like a farce. Law, because of all the theatrics... I think Amber is too narcissistic, self-centered, and vile to actually have PTSD. She's got a lot of things wrong with her, but I don't believe for one second that that's one of them. I really feel for her kid, to be honest. To be raised by someone like this, I, she's just... Because the people who have, who have testified for her like remote the, the the not remote the video depositions and stuff she can't get anybody really into the courtroom to testify on her behalf none of her like friends or whatever okay her sister was the only one everybody else has been video depositions so far and one of the things that dr curry mentioned about people that have the type of you know issues that she does or the types of issues that she does their personal relationships are always in like a shambles. And basically, as Riketa Law pointed out, Nick Riketa, since the money train that was attaching her friends to her has dried up because she's no longer with Johnny and Johnny was the money train and they can't mooch off Johnny anymore. All those relationships have gone away for the most part. Now you could say, well, that's terrible that they, you know, left her because of it. No, I think she pushed them away. I don't think she has very many close acquaintances because I think being close to someone like that is extremely difficult because people like that are just so, they're just so off putting once you're around them long enough. And tactics going on mental health because professionals seem to, say whatever's required and I don't know throw another industry on the Barbie that's looking dodgy right now. Mm -hmm. I hope Johnny's lawyers don't become fucking rude and annoying towards Amber's witnesses because then it will really just be a show of... They of, haven't been. You know, who's the better tactician. Camille Vasquez was very firm with Amber but she wasn't she wasn't assholey to her. And they haven't been assholey really to the to the uh the other witnesses that have been up there. Who's better at theatrics? Whereas you'd think if you are confident your client is innocent, you let the truth get revealed bit by bit. Mm. I believe we have had quality authentic witnesses so far. So just let that quality come out naturally and let those who lie ramble on and expose themselves. But maybe that's too passive to do that. I don't, I'm not a lawyer. I don't, I just, I didn't like it much when Ben Chu yelled and pointed. That Miss Her physically abused him he's become like a dad to me oh that didn't bother me at all yeah i didn't see that as an issue um honestly it didn't stand out as anything hugely strange this is the way lawyers act in the courtroom when they're making they're making their case so i mean i don't know if the 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 opposing counsel has done the same thing towards Johnny, but it wouldn't surprise me one bit because I haven't watched every single second of this trial. I've watched a lot. I've missed some. But if they would do the same thing to Johnny, I wouldn't see that as anything highly unusual. I just, I don't know, maybe I've watched enough court stuff that it doesn't really stand out to me, something like that. Couple of weeks. What did stand out to me was when Amber heard after she was done with her redirect she 
just walked herself right out of the courtroom. Jury hadn't even left and she just walked right out of the courtroom. Didn't go back and sit with her lawyers. That sort of thing is unusual. You know, I noticed stuff like that because that's not typical. So, yeah. I don't want but to we're getting ahead of ourselves here. Of him. His rebuttal to Rottenborn's motion to dismiss was great overall. I, I don't oh, yeah, and he says, I can't wait to... What was it he said? I can't wait to counter this or something like that. Uh, it, it was interesting. He was just so ready to get up there and pounce on this so they so it wouldn't get dismissed. Him stoop to the level of the defense team with how they treat others. Fuck me. I don't know, everyone. My heart is too pure for this world. I can't handle Aww. following this trauma attraction relationship, yet simultaneously... Oh, Johnny, get a tissue! Away. Let's just focus on that Scottish security guard. <laughs> this guy was great. <laughs> He's the new MVP that sparks joy for me. I think I'd remember if I saw Mr. Depp's penis. Wow. So many amazing quotes from this court There case. was also another part where the, the attorney was asking him something like... And he, he testified remotely, so he was live. And he was saying something like, well, Mr. Depp had the strength to pull away from you when you when you were trying to hold him. I'm paraphrasing. It's like, no. Well, but but he he got away from you. He pulled away. N no. Like basically saying, no, that's not accurate. No, I let him go. <laughs> it's just the way it played out was really funny. Some of these witnesses have been interesting. Nice. That said, the Objection Collection t-shirts are still available on my website. Shameless, trashy, get on it. Links below in the fucking comments and the post description. And uh, yeah, please do like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to keep me motivated with these videos a little longer. Because it's hard work. I'm up at like fucking 2am watching this thing and then working on it. I promise Ooh. a Destination Fucked compilation is coming up on the channel soon to ease our minds though. Okay, cheers. See you everyone. Okay, well, I, I look forward to finishing out the rest of his series. Does he sit up and watch this whole thing? I mean, he would have to watch a lot because, or at least compilation or summaries and stuff. So he's at 2 a.m. I forget how far ahead Australia is from, from the U.S. If it's 12 or 13 hours. But yeah, I know it's a lot of work. He's doing a lot of work here, sitting here, uh, sitting here watching this stuff, compiling his, th his thoughts. Plus he has all these witty little observations that he makes, which, which is what really is is uh, the, the driving attraction of these videos of his. And some people have suggested other stuff of his to check out, and I absolutely will. I will be watching more of his stuff. It's just right now I'm going to focus on the depth stuff for now, and I'll get around to other things after a while. He'll, he'll certainly be on my rotating list of channels to go back to and watch their content comment on their content and uh but yeah i however the heck i found this guy now i'm forgetting now how i found him but i can't remember if, if one of you guys recommended him <laughs> see my brain i swear I, I may have mentioned this in my very first video and i forgot already oh it's bad all right well I don't really have much more time, so and and not much more commentary to to uh, to make about this. This, like I said, this material is a bit older, so I'm going to try to hop to it on catching up with what he's got so far, and um, we'll see what the coming week brings. By the time this goes up, it might be the coming week. I don't know. Maybe I'll post some of these through the weekend just so I don't get a backlog because I've still got old stuff I'm trying to get done. Okay, well that's it for this. See you guys later. Adiós.